Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crest Designs. I'm finally back with the bottle. Alright, I'm going to put the, um, uh-huh, that we made. The bezeled jewel. Alright, I'm going to put it, I'm actually going to glue it to the bottle. Although it's going to look like it's hanging from chain. But I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to move around. Uh -huh. Yeah, like about like that. Okay, I've just got this. Is the Art Basics um, 3D matte gel um, from Prima? It's one of the Finnabar products. Alright, what I want to do. I want some glue here and here. Those are about the only two places it's going to touch. I forgot that I didn't make the uh, behind the stone open so I could glue it all the way across. All right, let me see. I want it where this jump ring can go around the bottle without um, disturbing too much those um, mm -hmm, shells right there. So I'm just gonna let this dry. It really, it only take, you know, maybe 30 minutes before it's set up enough that I can uh, keep working. Alright? Now, in the meantime, <laughs> I'm just going to set this up and uh, set it off to the side a minute. Alright, in the meantime, I've got what I've been putting together. It's my little bag of doodads. Alright, I've just got some of the pearls that are also. A, um, they're the Frank Garcia, um, mm -hmm. I don't remember what they're called. The, the, <clears throat> memory hardware. Pearls. <laughs> and I've got some of these. Um molded coins that all I did was um, black gesso them and then put a little of the Prima wax on them. Let me see. Yeah, this is the mold. Um, the, it, it is available on Amazon. Um, it can be quite expensive. But I'll try to leave the link below my video. Okay? Alright. Now. 
I want to do a couple of shells that will dangle from the chain um, amongst the pearls and coins. And, all right, so I, I'm going to get those together and I'll be right back. Okay, this is just a mold that I got off of um, Amazon or eBay or... Um, it is of one of the name brand. I'll put a link down below where you can get this mold without without my hair. All right, and then this one is just this is just molded from a real seashell. <clears throat> Got this kind of blue, oceany blue kind of color. Okay. I've got some polymer clay, and this is just primo, just what I grabbed. Could be scrap, could be any color, because I'm going to paint it. Alright, this is probably not conditioned quite enough, because it's pretty darn cold here this morning. Uh, I say pretty darn cold. I'm sure for y'all it's not cold. <laughs> it's 47 degrees this morning. So, it's pretty cold here. Well, pretty cold here for early November anyway. I am just going to keep on pressing and forcing this clay down into the mold all right now this is a um, silicone mold so of course the clay doesn't want to stick to it it wants to keep bouncing right back out Really sticky clay. Let me try it again. Really? There we go. Pressed in, turn out a really pretty shell. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of these. Let's see. Now I gotta think about them hanging. So um, I want to do ones where if I drill a hole, there will be enough. Uh, enough thickness okay let me try to explain what I meant all right this one has plenty of thickness up here at the top where I'd want to drill a hole as opposed to this one which wouldn't okay the rest of these would all probably be pretty good All right, so I'm going to do a couple more of these, and um, then I'll be right back to put it all together. Okay, all I did was um, do a 
rope of polymer clay and spiraled it around on there. I'm gonna paint this anyway, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Okay, and besides, it's just part of the decoration. It's not something we're gonna focus attention on anyway. So I'm gonna bake these at um, 275 for 30, 35 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. Got um, uh huh. I've got these shells that I actually gessoed on both sides, even though I'm now going to just glue them down. Okay, I like that one right there. Now the rest of them I'm going to flip over and glue to the back side. So I'm going to let that one dry for just a few minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, now not me to stick my thumb in it, but <laughs> all right. Okay, now I've got just these two smaller. Okay, so this is the dangle that's got the uh, molded shell. The molded shells up here. All these little pearl dangles and the coins. So pretty. Okay. Okay, the seaweed that we did with the uh, liquid sculpey. little bubbles that I did with the hot glue these are the other seashells that we just did okay just a couple of finishing touches Let's 
sorry, I'm really unsteady on my feet. <clears throat> Not really unsteady on my feet, just unsteady where I'm standing. Alright. That's it for now. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll I'll have social media links listed below. I have an Amazon shop that I get a little kickback from. I have an Etsy shop that's closed right now. Um, the rest of my social media links will be listed below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye for now.